Hey guys, how's it going? Dan here, co-founder of Prompt Hub. Back again to give you some of the latest research into prompt engineering. And today we're focusing on long prompts and how to optimize them. Year 2023 has revealed a lot of inf information about prompt engineering. We're figuring out best practices, you know, whether that be more specific instructions, adding in context examples or chain of thought reasoning, a bunch of different types of prompt engineering methods from tree of thoughts to algorithm of thoughts. There's all these new methods and they're, they work well. And we've written a lot about them, but they lead to longer and longer prompts. You know, we're talking thousand, two thousand, three thousand prompts, token prompts. For example, the chat GPT system message is about 1600 token. And we actually just did a deep dive on chat GPT's system message, as well as a couple other of leading tech companies like perplexity, TL draw and Vercells, And that's on our blog too. But the point here is that these prompts are getting a lot longer and long prompts are more challenging to, to handle, to iterate on, to make better. Just the more tokens there are, the more variables there are, and it's harder to control for all of those. And there's been a lot of research into how to optimize prompts and prompt optimizers, and they're mostly suited for short prompts and they just don't work well on large prompts. And that's because they usually are focused on some, either some sort of word replacement. And for long prompts, the search space is just too large for something like that. Or these prompt optimizers work on completely rewriting a prompt. Um, and that's just not feasible for a long prompt. It, it's hard to maintain the coherence and clarity um, and intent when doing that. And it's really important that you're able to do that so that when your prompt is optimized, you're left with something that at least looks familiar and sounds familiar. And so the team from Google DeepMind came out with a paper in just the end of November here that looked at specifically a framework to optimize long prompts. And the goal here is to generate something that is semantically very similar um, to the original long prompt, but achieves better outputs by whatever evaluation metric. And the semantic similarity is very important because as we just mentioned, Having something that's just completely new, completely different from your original prompt isn't super helpful. You need something that feels the same, something that you can iterate on in the future, something that you can understand and can kind of grasp. And so the method's pretty straightforward. Uh, it's three major components. First, it take a prompt and just chop it up into its individual sentences. Then they use an LLM to rephrase some of those sentences while maintaining the same semantic similarity. And then they add those sentences back if they performed well, and they keep a pool of the top performing prompts along the way. It will jump into each one of these. So step one, breaking down the prompt into sentences, very straightforward, um, just chop it up. Step two, rephrasing the sentences. So here is the prompt that the researchers used um, to rephrase individual, individual sentences from the original long prompt. So it gives it a role as a sentence rephraser. They include some examples and then they have the next prompt to be rephrased. And so the examples here that they used, you know, in context learning are examples that they know perf increased performance. So they include example sentences that when rephrased and then when they reran the prompt on whatever evaluation metrics, they knew that going from sentence A to A2 increased performance. And so those are the ones being injected back in to make sure that the model is looking at good use cases and that can help guide it for what rephrasing future sentences. And last up is the prompt pool. So rather than just having one prompt that you're constantly rephrasing sentences and adding back to, they kept a pool of prompts so that if they rephrase the sentence and it led to detrimental effects, you know, performance went down, they could revert to a different one. It also, this also keeps it from kind of going in a, a self-contained loop of constantly editing and updating the same sentences over and over again. So by keeping a pool of the prompts, they always had multiple options to continue their refinement process and just multiple candidates in general. And so we'll look at the results here. Um, it's going to be this method we we're just looking at. It's going to be compared against a couple of other methods. Um, the first being just the original prompt. The second being um, what's called a genetic algorithm. Um, the third being just a chain of thought prompting method that was used to update the original prompt. And then the last one is a greedy algorithm, which is just using a single prompt rather than a pool of prompts.
And so coming in here, we can see our method over on the right. That's a long um, prompt optimization method that we're looking at. And then you have the other um, methods here. And on average, um, our method outperforms by about 8.2%. And we can see there are some pretty big wins, especially in the logical um, task set here. Um, so the original prompt got a score of you know 38 point, we'll call it 40, and the new one got 60. So you're looking at like, you know, almost a 20% gain there. Um, and so that's just from changing the the semantics of of sentences and running through this algorithm that we we just looked at. And we can see the difference between the greedy and our method. The only functional difference there is that pool of prompts or not. Greedy does not have a pool of prompts, and you can see that adding that step does lead to on average, you know, pretty good additional gains. For the most part, you're looking at like four to five percent across the across the board, if it feels like. And so to look at a specific example, this is from that logical deduction test set. So the original prompt 38.8 accuracy up to, you know, about called like 60. So it's almost like a 50 percent ish gain. And that's again, just from changing some words And this. But this did take about 48 inter iterations. And, you know, it might sound like a lot, but I think this is really a great thing if you're working on prompts, just to show that you don't need anything fancy. There's no like crazy methods going on. It's just changing around words and seeing how that leads to performance. And you can see in this first step, uh, first line here, instead of let's think step by step, they change it to let's think through one at a time. And it's little things like this that can get you all the way to a 50% increase in performance. Here's another example, um, going from 60% accuracy up to you know 92 basically so 30 percent increase and it was at iteration 91 so it took more iterations but again i think this is a really good sign for prompt engineers and so if you want to try and put this into practice mimicking the exact algorithm used by the team might be challenging if you don't have like a, the same setup or if you don't have the time so we built a prompt hub form that will run an algorithm that will mimic as much of the researchers algorithm as it can and you'll get a, an optimized prompt on the other side so you just input your prompt we generate a semantically similar one going through sentence by sentence and trying to choose the best ones and then you'll get a new prompt on the outside and there's no guarantee that this one you know the one that gets generated will work better that's something that you should kind of test against and especially if you use you know, we have batches features within our product to allow you to run the prompt many times to see how it performs. So this is just one way to kind of put this into practice. And we also have a template that's open source and available in the product if you want to see what un it looks like under the hood. And yeah, let us know if this helps you get better outputs and happy prompting.